What is up, loud and proud crowd? And we're truck shopping. I love truck shopping season, which is all the time. But it's going to be a really good day. It's going to be a really fun day. We've got our eye on two different trucks. Which one do you like more so far? Just based on pictures, not in person seen. Really? Yeah, so we're looking at two different trucks. Both are 24 valve trucks. One is an extended cab short bed. Obviously the suicide doors, all that stuff, cloth interior, single rear wheel axle, 2500. It's a 99. The other one is a 2002 six speed dually 24 valve. So we did end up going to look at that first truck and it was a pretty nice truck. The body was completely flawless. However, there was a part of the frame that was just a little bit eaten up and it wasn't all the way through the frame in this spot, but it was, you could tell it was kind of, it was getting close and I just didn't like that. Now it's something that isn't too far gone. It could be fixed, but that's not really what I want to deal with right now because I just don't like the idea of it. So we did drive all the way up here into Michigan and uh, we're off route 24 and I, I think I hear it Cummins. I'm not sure, but anyways, um, we are up here in Michigan now, and we're going to be looking at this Dually six-speed O2 24 valve. Now, he says the truck is immaculate, and it's in like really good shape. He's like, it's not perfect. There's some little rock chips and stuff, you know. It is a Dually, so it does th it does throw some rocks and stuff. And he's like, buddy, it's not bad. He's like, it's not a bad, not bad. He's like, there's no rust. He says there's no rust anywhere. Um, he's like, the truck wasn't driven through the salt. He's like, it was parked. I actually see it pulling up through here. But um, so anyways, should be a pretty cool truck, but you never know. Crazier things have happened. Um, but it says 140,000 miles, immaculate condition, no rust, no rips interior, heated leather interior, all that stuff. I mean, it's apparently like a loaded out O2, but we're about to find out. Stay tuned. I'm gonna show dad the new truck and get his reaction. What the heck? They haven't seen it yet, so they don't know. So they don't know about the new second gen? No, they don't know about it yet. I won't tell them. Why would I tell them about a new second gen? I don't know. What do you think about it, though? Does it look good? You can come over here, and I'll get your reaction before they get to see it. No rust, body or frame. It's clean. And you want to know what's done to it? It's got heated leather seats. like the dash is intact. Dash is good. Interior is really good. So this is this is the coolest part. It's a stock engine with only these exceptions. It's got a fast 150 lift pump. It's got head studs. It's got a fuel gauge, an EGT gauge, and a boost gauge. And it's got a dual disc, South Bend dual disc clutch, but no horsepower increased mods to the engine. Is that not the perfect truck to buy if you're gonna buy one? So as you guys know, this is the 2008 LMM Duramax that is up for a giveaway right now. And if you don't know that it is, every $15 you spend on LMP merch, information in the description below, will get you another entry to win this truck, which ends in approximately, I think, two or three days. Pro I think two days by the time you see this video, and then this giveaway is over. So definitely get in on that one. But what we're going to do now is show you guys the new truck, the new project, what we're going to be doing here and uh, so excited. I used to have a 1996 five-speed manual 12 valve truck and that truck I just loved. I fell in love with it, I owned it for nine months and uh, it doesn't seem like a long time but for me, I've never owned a vehicle more than six months. So that was the longest I'd owned a vehicle and I was connected to it the most so it meant a lot to me and uh, I just kind of was reminiscing when I was in this truck on our way back from Michigan and I'm like, man, this is just a nice truck. And it just brought back a lot of memories of like drive my dually to go see my fiance when we started dating and all that stuff. And it just brought back a lot of memories. And so I had to get another dually and uh, well, we'll show you the truck right now.
Well, everybody, this is the new truck for the channel, and hopefully you guys are just as excited as I am. We have a lot of huge plans for this truck already. In fact, we've got parts on the way already for this thing, and it's gonna be getting a complete makeover. This is a 2002 24 valve Cummins. This truck only has a whopping 145,000 miles on it. So as you can imagine, it's very clean. The interior is very clean. Steering wheel is about as rough as it gets for the interior. But the truck was of course driven and probably somebody held onto the wheel, hopefully. Um, and then we've got the six speed manual transmission. Now not all of the 24 valves came with a six speed manual, but this one is equipped with a six speed manual. It does have the dual heated seats. It does have dual power seats. It is four wheel drive. There are a couple small scuffs on the headliner, but nothing to worry about. Interior is of course an SLT Laramie. And at the time in 02, this was uh, like a loaded, loaded out truck. I mean, it was a really nice truck at the time and uh, it's still freaking really nice. And these seats are so, so comfortable, believe it or not, they are, they are just so, so nice. And uh, we've got the rear seat back here, the back seat. Leather is in awesome condition. I kinda doubt anybody's ever sat back here. If anybody ever did, it couldn't have been more than just a couple times. I mean, this back seat is just super clean. There's no scratches, tears. The seat folds up. You've got, okay, looks like they left a lot of their stuff back in the seat here, but um, very clean. Very clean. You can look here. Very clean. There's some rock chips on them, but you know, it, it was driven, but not rotted out. It's got a Bradford built bed. And the cool thing about that is, is I was actually going to take the next dually that I bought and slap a flatbed on it. Now it wasn't gonna go as nice as Bradford built. However, I'm gonna stick with it because uh, it's already on the truck. In this bed, I don't know what they go for for sure, but I would imagine this is probably at least five to seven thousand dollar aluminum bed. It does have the little cubbies for equipment, gear, chains, all the LED lighting and all that stuff, and it's just a really nice, high quality aluminum bed. You come in here and you look at the frame. This truck is very clean. If I can get it to focus, can't hardly see. Okay, look at the frame. Very, very, very clean. You can see there's a little bit of surface rust on this shackle. That's not really that big of a deal. The bump stops, clean. The leaf pack's clean. The frame is very clean. There's a little bit of surface rust starting, as you can see down there, but it's not bad. It's not rotted out. And these uh, bed mounts over here are notorious for rotting out, which is not the case on this truck. It does have a gooseneck. And of course, you know it's a clean frame when you can read the font on the frame from 2002. Just a very, very clean truck. For uh, what you can find around here in the Midwest, this is a very, very, uh, this is definitely a sight for sore eyes if uh, you guys are familiar with the Midwest. I mean, this truck is uh, in really good shape compared to what else is out there. Get you nice up close to the cab corner over on this side. Very clean. It's not all bondoed up. This is a nice, beautiful truck. He said it's an original paint job. So as you can see, there's rock chips and stuff like that all along it, which is expected front end is not rotted out and this is not a 53 block truck this is a 55 block truck which is one of the number one things that we looked for on this truck and uh, given that it was an 02 I kind of figured most of the 53s were weeded out by that time but you know crazier things have happened another nice thing that this truck has no tuners hooked up to it this truck is pretty much bone stock they said in terms of the engine the only thing I mean just look at like the batteries like the connection points and everything is so clean on this truck like they took such good care of it it does have the factory intake still they just took the box apart or no that's an aftermarket smb intake my bad i'm not used to uh i'm not used to what a factory intake really looks like anymore it does have the factory whole set turbo on it this gentleman was going through the truck and he was telling me what was done to it and he said gauges intake head studs lift pump five inch exhaust and a south bend dual disc clutch but in terms of horsepower, it's not all horse up. It's not freaking jam packed with big injectors, big turbo, you know, all the different springs and stuff. It's not messed with, which is one of the most important things too when it comes to looking for one of these trucks. So we didn't want something that was all horsed up, something that was already, you know, it had already been built for years and who knows what kind of wear and tears on the engine. Um, everything that I wanted to do to a truck in terms of preventable, preventable maintenance is already done on this one, which is perfect. Because if I went with a dual disc, it would have been a South Bend, and if I was gonna go with a lift pump, it was gonna be an Air Dog. So that happened to work out just perfect. But man, this is it. This is her. 
it's a beautiful beautiful truck and i'm super super stoked and i hope you guys are too stay tuned because this truck's going to look completely different really really fast one last look at the lineup of the trucks we got sitting up here and this is not all of our trucks but this is the ones we have here okay. these two second gens compound turbo second gen 12 valve these ones are both 24 valves beautiful this is my fiance's truck we just put that set up wheels and tires on it and last but not least the 08 duramax do not forget to enter to win this truck it could be yours and it is a beauty thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and do not forget we're down to the last two days left to enter to win this 2008 lmm duramax i know i've said it a lot but i'm trying to stress this to you guys because this is a huge opportunity for one of you guys to go home with your dream diesel pickup truck and maybe this necessarily isn't the exact truck that you had in mind as your dream truck but you can take it you can sell it you can trade it you can keep it you can beat the snot out of it you can rebuild it do it a different way whatever you want to do it would be your truck to do whatever it is that you wish to do with it but anyways guys information in the description below do not miss out on this opportunity time is ticking you're running out almost down to the last 48 hours leave a fat thumbs up comment down below if you're excited about the new 24 valve build and i'll catch you in the next video peace